These free and paid tools are literally game changing if you are creating content online. And the first tool, which is free, can be used on your mobile phone or on your computer. So let's say you're shooting video on your phone or your camera and your mic decides to not work. And now all you're stuck with is the built-in microphone on your phone or the built-in microphone on your camera. And this is what it sounds like. It's not good. Well, not to fear, Adobe Enhanced Speech is here. And you can literally use this tool for free from your phone or from your computer. All you have to do is Google Adobe Enhanced Speech, and you'll probably see Adobe Podcast pop up. That's the link. You can click there. And then once inside, you'll want to click the Sign In button. If you already have an Adobe account and subscription, sign in. If not, just create a free account. Now, I personally have the paid membership of this because I am an Adobe Creator Cloud member, but I will also show you how to use this software completely free as well. So essentially how it works is I just click Choose Files and then Upload My Video here. And as you can see, it's right now uploading, and then I just want to give it like a minute it's going to upload fully and then it's going to go through the video and enhance it all right it's done we've got the video here and just so you remember this is what the audio sound like before this is what it sounds like it's not good and maybe on top of it there's background noise going on with my fidget spinner. And then all I gotta do is click the download button here and it's gonna download it to my phone and I can easily use it in my next project. Now, if you are on a free budget, you can still use the Enhance tool. You're just gonna have to jump through a few hoops. So the free version of Enhance Audio only allows you to upload audio. You won't be able to just upload the video and it'll do it really fast. So what you have to do is use a video to MP3 converter app, which I use this one on my iPhone. And then once you've converted your video to MP3, you can upload it. It's going to enhance that audio. You can download it. And then inside your video editor, you'll just have to align the audio with your video, which will probably take a few tries, but then you'll have the enhanced audio. So paying for the tool is literally paying for time because it'll just do it so much quicker if you do it the paid way. Otherwise, if you want to do the workaround, that works tool, you're still getting the same result. Speaking of audio, have you ever wanted to use a popular song in one of your videos, but couldn't because of YouTube's copyright restrictions? Well, our next tool, which is Epidemic Sound, has probably found one of the best solutions for this. They're also sponsoring this video. See, all you have to do is take any song that you want and grab the Spotify link for it. So we're going to do As It Was by Harry Styles. I click the three dots. I click share. I click copy song link. Then I head over to Epidemic Sound, either on computer or on your mobile phone, and you just paste the song link into the search bar and Epidemic Sound is going to find songs that sound just like this that you can actually use in your videos. Let's see if this first song sounds anything like that Harry Styles song. That is literally the exact same vibe. I do have a free trial link of Epidemic Sound linked in the description so you can test out this feature and see if you like it along with the rest of Epidemic Sound's restriction free library. Now the next tool on our list is Firecut AI, which literally made me abandon my old editor because I was editing with Final Cut Pro. That's what I was using. It was great. But when I was introduced to AI and how it can literally this, this software will literally go through your videos, cutting out all the silent parts and connecting all the clips together perfectly, like 99% of the time, perfect, to where I just have to go through the video and cut out the bad takes and I'm done trimming. Like that literally saved me so much time with making my video. I literally left Final Cut Pro, joined Premiere Pro because this tool is for Premiere Pro only at the moment. And I literally don't edit a video without Firecut. This video was cut together with Firecut. It is my absolute go-to because I don't want to spend hours editing a video and it helps save me time. If you do want to try this tool out, I will have an affiliate link in the description. There should be a free trial attached to that so you can use it before actually committing to anything. And it's also worth mentioning that they are making a web version of it. So potentially in the future, I'll try and cover it when it comes out, but potentially you'll be able to cut all the silences out of your video and then send it over to your own editor. So that way you don't have to move necessarily to Premiere Pro. You can continue using what you use, but still benefit from AI editing. Now, the next AI tool that I have to bring up is Photoshop. This has completely changed the game. They have added so much AI power in this with 
image expansion, as well as being able to just add things into the background. Now to just demonstrate this, there was a more recent video where I talked about how people should watch Daryl Eves. He's a YouTube strategist. He has a lot of valuable information and I wanted to add him to the thumbnail, but all I could find was this image of him. Like there wasn't really any good photo online that I could use in the thumbnail. So I literally took this image, expanded the image, and then had AI fill in the blank. And this is what it did. Boom, added him in. And I even have that original photo and it was able to give me more space to where I could actually add him to a thumbnail. And that looks insanely good and realistic. Or maybe another instance, let's say I want to select my shirt here and I want this to be something else completely. Let's say I want this to be suit and tie, <laughs> even though this probably won't work because of my neck. Let's just see what happens. Will it switch it to suit and tie? Boom. Collins in his suit, or we could do this one or this one. It's glitching out a little bit, but this this looks pretty decent. Or let's say here, let's uh let's uh go around my face here and let's add sunglasses to my my face here. Boom! Colin is looking stellar. Like the things you can do now with Photoshop and the power of AI is insane. It is absolutely insane. So if you can. I would pick up Photoshop for thumbnails. It's a complete game changer. Now, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will make a follow-up to this video. So smash that like button, click the subscribe button, blah, 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 and yeah.